My name is Thảo Nguyên Phan and I am a Vietnamese visual artist. I live and work in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. And this is my first uh, solo exhibition in Denmark. When you enter the exhibition, uh, you will see my practice in the past 10 years. Uh, it's a combination of paintings, drawings, sculpture, and moving images. Some of the inspiration comes from uh, the background where I come from and the history and the culture of my country. But the work is not so uh, specific. Um, the first room you encounter, you will see a large installation uh, from uh, jute stock. And I like to use materials which has a certain kind of, uh, let's say, narrative or historical um, element. I choose to use jute because it's related to the topic that I was interested in, which was the historic famine in the north of Vietnam in 1945 during the Japanese occupation. The exhibition uh, is called Reincarnations of Shadows and it is also the, um, the name of the most current and ongoing uh, project um, that include um, videos and artworks uh, not only from myself but from a historical figure and her name is Tim Phung Thi. I, I, I want to pair um, her sculptures and her fabric collages in conversation with my video piece and other aspects of um, my work. The video, Reincarnations of Shadows, is a kind of a, a very personal portrait of this figure. And it's also about my uh, also personal reflection of how art history is written and how it usually uh, excluded uh, figures, some, many of them female or many of them, let's say, non-Western artists. I wanted to put Tim Phum Thi works in the context of this exhibition because I wanted to have a, have a conversation happen. It's like, a, let's say, it's like a reincarnation. The piece in the background that we uh, can see from here uh, is called Voyage de Rhodes. And this piece is also the exploration of the, the mystery and the issues relating to writ written language. Um, because it is uh, my watercolors hand painted on the uh, antique book that was written by the French Jesuit missionary Alexander de Rhodes, who came to uh, Vietnam in the 17th century to sp uh, spread the gospel. And his book is an observation of, of Vietnam at that time. And he is believed to be one of the important contributors to the romanization of the Vietnamese written script which is the official written script in Vietnam nowadays. And in Tim Phum Thi works is actually, she called her seven modules that she used to create most of her sculptures, let's say, is her own alphabet. So it's both about language and a very different representation. So there are uh, four video pieces in our exhibition and the, there's two of them that relate to the Mekong River. Uh, one is Becoming Alluvium and the second one is First Brain Brissolé. And um, I wanted to uh, have these uh, two videos together and it's kind of giving a landscape of the Mekong River in my mind. Um, it is one of the most uh, important rivers in Southeast Asia. 
So in the two videos, the uh, the rivers is Kaf, the main character, and it also references a lot about the mythology of the, let's say, the culture of the people who live alongside the river and consider that this river is the important source in their life. For example, in Becoming Alluvium, I pair literary sources from um, Khmer folk tale um, that I think most people don't know. And I did alter these folk tales to make my own version. So it's no, no longer the original version. But I also paired with uh, um, the writing of writers that people might know better, such as uh, Italo Calvino or Marguerite Duras, uh, who wrote about her experience growing up in the Mekong Delta. Um, so to pair these literary and mythology resources, I want to create this kind of a open approach to how we understand uh, myth-making, let's say. All of the texts are a, a combination of interests, and I don't have a, a systematic way of uh, selecting them. I would say the decision is quite intuitive, but when I feel it's right to be together, then I put them on the screen and I place them on uh, different screens or different images to pair them. So it's like uh, creating visual poetry. Yeah.